Hello everyone, my name is York Dog and welcome to a new series as Sparta. We're going to be doing a run through as the very militaristic state of Sparta. But uh, there's going to be a bit, uh, well, a couple of house rules. Um, number one, I have played literally the, the run before this as Macedon. So I think I'm going to end up completing the mission trees for Sparta and taking any land that that requires me to do but I'm not allowed to take any land outside of that except as a vassal. In addition, uh, once again I'm only allowed to go for military techs uh, for quite a while which will make things quite a bit harder I suspect. Um, it'll make things very much easier in terms of battles, sure, but in terms of keeping everyone loyal, uh, diplomacy, aggressive expansion etc. It's going to make it more difficult. So, military techs only up until the point I've actually completed the siege and like the normal military tree. So, basically, I just won't be using the naval, the naval tree at all. Um, so, it'll be Greece, Macedon, and I think Western Io uh, like Ionia and Aeolia, which we can bring under our control. And that's about it. So let's uh, let's do this, shall we? So I do. I am doing this. Uh, someone in uh, comments requested that I do this. So I'm looking forward to uh, to giving it a go. So unmarried ruler. How old are you? Twenty. We get two military. ideas to begin with. Uh, I, once again, we're just going to be going with military advances. Do, do, do. Right. My best chance of early expansion is on Crete, so... I get seven pops to begin with. I think that's the other thing. I'm not actually going to allow myself to bring any other culture groups except for those required for missions. Uh, under, well, I'm, I'm not allowed to integrate them unless it helps with a mission set in some way. Uh, let's let's get six more ships out. In terms of initial imports, let's get some silphium and some dates, and we're going to set to mercantile stance when we can. I guess we're going to scheme for influence early on, because we will need that. They declined iron. Uh, let's get some gemstones. Okay, we now have claims, but you're going to be in a defensive league and it's not one I can win against. Not unless I can hire a group of mercenaries early on, which isn't really something I can do. So I think we go for Gortnia to begin with. Now we'll go with Polyhenia. Again, five stability. Yes, please. Uh, 
That's right, I need to disband briefly. So the wars haven't quite kicked off yet. Now they have. So Macedon, uh, the Ptolemaic Kingdom are both at war. Will they give up to Seleucus or not? They do give up to Seleucus. They give up to Thrace as well. Syracuse is a civil war. This has been a pretty crazy run so far. Surprised they didn't give up to the Ptolemy Kingdom, to be honest. That's not good. The reason that's very bad is... The entire plan was to get a foothold over here. Also, tyranny prevails in Syracuse. Interesting. Uh, let's just disband the levies and we'll go over and attack when we get half a chance. Basically, just going to be a case of taking as much land as we hear, uh, can hear from very small nations. What's the best one to use you with? With bottleneck, probably. It's very little chance either of you actually succeed at the Olympics, but we'll send someone nonetheless. Syracusan tyranny. It's a second civil war against the uh, tyranny. Let's go attack Hermione. Miserly is actually really bad. I hope I get rid of that at some point. citizenship status.
So you're actually allied with Argos, which suits me really well. Um, I am going to disband you briefly, though. I'm going to get rid of the four in Hermione, the one on Crete. I'm going to go for the additional discipline. I want a really small mercenary force. This one will do. Alright, let's go take Argos. Siege the main ports. So I'm actually going to have two uh, two areas to besiege here. This will help greatly. And then I might go... For... Um, no, I think I'll attack Kree again. Before I go for... Over here, next. That defensive league is probably too big to deal with, even with the mercenaries. This will give me a bit more money to work with, though. God, we're... Rolling terribly here. But we get it done in the end. actually want to trade with us now. with is there a few to trip got yeah I could take roads I know roads is needed in the mission tree down the line so I think I'll take roads
I need five buildings in Sparta. For that, I need money, bro. Something which is uh, in short supply still. There's a civil war in Macedon. The Antigone cause, I don't believe, has wavered just yet. Rhodes only has two ships. We have fourteen. Gortney has probably only got one or two. Yeah, three. So we can we can beat their navies. I'm not too worried here. Oh, Gortney is actually at war. Gonna wait until they've retaken their lands. That fort in Argos will be hopefully very useful for us. There we go, now the Antigonids have been carved up. Uh, they do still have a decently large chunk of land in the centre of Anatolia. I am going to uh, raise the levy for this war. <laughs> and that's just left me at war with roads. Uh, that's fine, actually. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I'll send a wrist them. We have a no well, we have all the trade routes available. Uh, let's just go for dates and fruits, I think. Looks like we got raided by barbarians. I 
Uh, five popularity, two freemen will appear, lose 15 political influence, six gold. Fine by me. Then roads and arcades. Athens should be under Macedonian control now. Which will make things a bit harder for expansion later on. We actually have a truce with you, so I guess we just go straight for roads. We also have a truce with you, and that would put us at war with Egypt. Okay. My plans have been scuppered. Because I can't beat Egypt. Uh, not the minute, anyway. So I think instead we win over here and then we attack uh, the defensive league and hope we can win there. pins them in. I'm not going to attack them because we probably win because of the much better commander uh, and oh, they're just going to attack us anyway. I'm trying to save manpower basically. Doesn't look like it's a problem though. Let's get the fleet into position. Just one last place to besiege, and then we're all good. I think in the meanwhile, we'll get you moved over. for the discipline again. It'll be useful in our next war. Okay, that's Crete secured. Gain some tribesmen, two freemen, and a citizen. Sure. Just 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Yeah, they're going to have a huge force. But I need to try something here. So that is not it. We got capital falls here, personally. Levy of Greece, you're going to be bottleneck. Mercenaries, you're also going to be bottleneck. I can't win, there's too many numbers. If I load an auto save, how long back does that take me? Uh, not too far back. Probably going to need to redo this war then. Or this entire run. back my manpower is going to be screwed after that one but we did knock him back actually getting a bit of gold here which is really helpful for us Change our import routes here. I was gonna say, let's get some iron, but there's none available. In which case, dates are probably best. And some fruits. Discipline is good, I think. And we're going to get our Greek tradition. Slightly more morale of armies will be very useful. Okay, that's actually the war goal under our control, so that's huge. from Megalopolis. If that falls, then my capital is safe for a while. Yeah, there's a few small, sure, uh, small enemy fleets in there, but nothing too crazy. the scouts come out and engage at this point. I spoke too soon. 
Uh, right. There's an 11k mercenary group over there. There's 10k over on Gortnia. Hellers under siege, interesting. That's a fight we can win. I'm going to take one of the forts out over here. Discipline. Right, we're going to lose over in Argos. Or maybe not. I thought they'd have too much force. So the only one I'm actually war with here is Ellis. They're going to be a separate conquest. Your finesse is terrible, which is because they've got two negative traits now. Uh, we'll lose 32 gold for a free new trade route in our capital province, that is extremely worth it. Piece them out one by one now. Mm, do I need that? Fortress. I think I'll get rid of it. Simulation speed plus one. Uh, Fifteen hundred manpower is actually really useful for us, so we'll take the manpower. Plus, I don't tend to build many training camps, which was one of the options. My phone, eh? Oh, this one here. So we're going to have the comet under our control. That'll be very useful. Let's make sure the Greek levy has enough food. 
But I think that'll be that for this episode. Once again, everyone, thank you very much for watching. I hope uh, hope this series of Sparta piques your interest. Um, and we'll see what fun we can get up to. So I'm planning to make a few vassals over the place and just see how far we can get them to expand. But yeah, thank you very much for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next one.